In this video, we will be discussing duration versus work versus units. We will be focusing on the definitions. The formula duration equals to work divided by units. And we will also be doing three examples. Duration. Now duration is the total time required to complete a task that is from the start to the finish of the task and it is usually measured in days. Work or effort is the amount of time it takes to actually do the tasks and it's usually measured in hours. And units is a percentage of a resource available time assigned to a task. The formula that is used in project scheduling is duration equals to work divided by units. Now let's do example one. Calculate the duration of a task. Let's call it to excavate the trench. If it takes one resource, John, 100% of his time, that is eight hours per day for five days to excavate the trench. Now the work or effort is it takes John five days and he works eight hours per day. So it's eight times five. So the work or effort is 40 hours. The unit, which is the percentage, 100% equals is one. Now the duration is work divided by units. It's 40 divided by one. The duration is 40 hours. And 40 hours divided by 8 hours per day is 5 days to excavate the trench. So it will take John, if he spends 100% of his time, 5 days to uh, excavate the trench. Now let's look at example 2. What will happen with the duration of the task to excavate the trench if John only has 50% of his time available to work on the task? that requires 40 hours of work effort to complete. So to complete the task, it still requires 40 hours to complete. But John can only spend 50% of his time to work on the task. Now the effort or the work is still 40 hours. The unit is now 50%, so it's 0.5. So John will only be working four hours per day now the duration equals to work divided by units equals to 40 divided by 0.5. So the duration of the task will now be 80 hours divided by 8. It's 10 days. So it will take John 10 days to excavate the trench. And in example 1, if he spends 100% of his time, it will take 40 hours or 5 days to complete the task. So the, to excavate the trench will take him 10 days, that is 2 weeks, and the effort is still 40 hours. Now let's look at example 3. What will happen with the duration of the task to excavate the trench if John can allocate 100% of his time on the task and the second resource, Mike, can also allocate 100% of his time on the task? The task still requires 40 hours of work or effort to complete. So the work or effort is 40 hours. The unit is now 100% for John, 100% for Mike. It's 200% equals to it's 2. The units are 2. Duration is work divided by units. It's 40 divided by 2. It's 20 hours divided by 8. 2.5 days. So it will take 2.5 days to excavate the trench if both John and Mike allocate 100% of their time on the task. So to excavate the trench will now be 2.5 days, could be the duration. John will be working 20 hours and Mike will be working 20 hours. Thank you for watching the video. And if it was helpful, please like it or go to my channel for any other project management related videos. And you can see the link below 
for my channel.